Black men have been practicing masonry in the United States since the 18th century, but it wasn't until the 20th century that the Prince Hall Grand Lodge of Wisconsin was established. The Prince Hall Masons have been present and active throughout Milwaukee and the state since 1925. Their goal? To serve the community through faith, hope, and charity. Tonight, Black Nouveau looks into how they've done just that and how they see their role evolving as they approach 100 years in Wisconsin. We as Freemasons use the I idea of the certain tools to build a better spiritual and physical body. So when they're talking about building an actual structure, we're working on improving and building a better personal structure for that man. On June 29, 1925, the first four Wisconsin lodges were established in Milwaukee, Madison, and Beloit under the first most worshipful grandmaster, L.B. Shepard. Samuel Stotts is the current leader of around 550 Prince Hall Masons throughout the state, which also includes Racine and Kenosha. He explains that a part of being a Mason is having belief in a higher being and a commitment to community and country. We do a lot of uh, scholarships through our foundation, the Prince Hall Foundation. Also on the women's side, the Order of Eastern Star, they also have uh, a charitable foundation in which we do uh, multiple scholarships. We do uh, food drives, food pantries. We do a lot of um, book bag um, events where we give out school supplies to kids. Uh, mostly you will see us in charitable organizations. Lately we've been partnering with a lot of different organizations at different events like blood drives and other activities throughout the community that uh, are assistant to the, the members of the city. One of the latest events is their observance of Prince Hall and Americanism Day at Ephesians Missionary Baptist Church in Milwaukee. That's where we spoke to Faisal Abdullah, the Grand Lodge photographer who was born in the United Kingdom, but became a Prince Hall Mason upon arriving in Madison. The more I travel, the more I become, you know, experienced within Masonry, you begin to see the signs and the codes and the symbols, and brothers reach out to you because they see your conduct, your sign, your symbol. So there's a, it's a beautiful system um, that helps you not only become a better person, but also be a better human being and how you can contribute charity to others. And the beautiful thing with masonry, the more and more I go to the, the events, the dinners, the ceremonies, you see so many people that share the same optics as me, part of the so-called you know, fraternal organization, but also a part of a kind of black intelligentsia. So it's a really beautiful way that you can feel supported um, in your day-to-day -day life. Membership among the Wisconsin Prince Hall Masons peaked in the 1970s when there were around 1,000 members throughout the state. With just over half that number now, Stott says efforts are on to increase membership among younger generations and remain active. The dwindling of the health of the older members and just, you know, a lot of younger men, they feel that the organization is based and more centered toward older men. but. Uh, I think we have a great blend of older gentlemen and younger gentlemen. We continue to do uh, just kind of round tables with the community and, and just kind of we, we're working on uh, developing, we're upgrading our website, which is going to really modernize uh, the way we can communicate online as well as uh, help the lodges uh, communicate to and from with each other as far as with the uh, paperwork and things that we do to keep our organization going. But, but we'll be... Um, launching a new website this November, which will really help us uh, get out into the community a little bit more and get a little bit more access. Stotts admits another challenge is overcoming the idea that Masons are a secret society that most people don't have access to. He says Masonry is like any other organization with particular symbols or codes, but generally speaking, membership is open to anyone interested in becoming a better person. The only secrets of Masonry are the modes of communication where one Mason may know another Mason. So that are really the only secrets. So uh, there has been a lot of myths and bad stereotypes that have been created, not just with Prince Hall Mason, but with masonry in general. Um, and that is, like you said, a tough part to overcome because people do not know the truth. They, they hear uh, a myth or a story, and the story snowballs into what people think is the truth, but it's not. A lot of things that are said about the masonry are not true. Uh, a lot of information can be um, received online. Most lodges, uh, and there are several 
uh, good sites that will give you uh, information on masonry and what it's truly about, Freemasonry. Uh, and we're, we're about making good men better. Uh, and that's really what it's about. Mm -hmm.